Good morning, folks. This is Valentina with Wisdom of the Tea Leaves. And this morning I'm here in my office in Morro Bay. It's not like a usual office. Uh, it's where I see my clients, my coaching clients, and I hold my uh, group uh, coaching lessons, which are kind of like group therapy with a strong educational component. <laughs> and I also have a little yoga space here. Yeah, I'll show you my little yoga space. Hold on a second. So this is my little yoga space in there. Um, because I also have some uh, private yoga clients and um, some other yoga activities that I do here, because yoga is a huge part of my life. Um, so anyhow, I have a little tea station, and I'm too busy today to go home and do my tea. So I made myself tea this morning, and i um, drinking green tea from Good Earth. And the little tag says, Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Helen Keller. So life is a daring adventure, period. <laughs> life is probably the biggest adventure. It's uh, when, when you think of an adventure, you don't think of anything easy or simple, do you? You think of hard work and you think of a lot of twists and turns, kind of like an Indiana Jones movie with a lot of surprises behind every corner. So we have to be alert on our toes and paying close attention so we don't get mow mowed over by unexpected circumstances um, and uh, also means that uh, we have to apply ourselves to stay on the path um, it takes effort to stay on your path um, assuming that you know what your path is right but even if you don't know what your path is just keeping your head above water takes time and takes energy so life is a daring adventure, I would have to agree with that, the ultimate adventure of life. I don't think we ever figured it out. I think we just get better and better dealing with specific things. Um, we grow more, so we become wiser and we make less mistakes, hopefully, as we get older. But ultimately, it's life is actually a mystery. It's a big mystery. Um, so it's um, we have to be deliberate and you know, hope for the best kind of thing, <laughs> but then apply ourselves too so that we can get the best that we can according to our capacities. So um, sometimes when I think of daring adventures, I think how every aspect of life is an adventure. Um, for example, the civil rights movement, um, that was daring. That was a group of people with zero power that took it upon themselves to change the world, basically, to change the political map, to change um, attitudes, and, and they succeeded. They, you know, the civil rights movement was very powerful. But once they got the power on paper, the fight did not end. To this day, minorities constantly, assertively um, fight for their power. Um, so... It's a good lesson for life. It's like anything worth having is worth fighting for. Anything worth um, wanting <laughs> is worth working towards. Uh, if you're at work and you want a promotion, you don't sit around just waiting for it to happen. You actually have to stand out. You have to prove that you are the person for the job. And once you get the promotion, you have to work even harder to prove that people made the right decision by promoting you. And if you want to go further ahead, you have to keep applying yourself. So how important is it to you? Um, if something is important to you, you need to work on it. If something is valuable to you, you need to tend to it. You need to take care of it. You need to grow it and you need to pay attention to it. Relationships are the same way. This, this is very common in relationships. We've talked about this before. When people first meet each other, they work hard to impress each other. And that's why it's a lot of fun. You're discovering the other person, you're figuring it out, and you're trying to impress. Once you settle into the relationship, you become more complacent. And then somehow assume that by default, the other person must like you, love you, and take care of you. It's like, no. Uh, if you want to have that person in your life, you need to work to keep them. Um, if... Um, your partner is feeling unappreciated or not valued as much as they think they should be valued if they're working to keep you guys together but you're not paying attention or you're not validating them or you're not uh, reciprocating 
they're going to leave you. <laughs> and if you find yourself in a situation where your partner is leaving you because of those reasons, and you agree that you should be more proactive and um, more expressive um, with your actions and your words about how much you care about your partner, then you should step up your game and make sure they don't leave you. You can even get them back if they leave you. <laughs> it's happened before. I've known many people that will separate and after a period of time will get back together because they realize that they they care about each other way more than they thought and they value each other more than they value other people and they have something special. So they're willing to get back and revisit the subject and tend to that special quality in their relationship. So um, everything worth having requires work having it you want a garden you got to plant it you want to eat tomatoes you got to plant them <laughs> you want to eat potatoes you got to plant them it's how it is or you at least have to go to the store and buy them either way they're not going to magically appear on your table your food is not going to magically appear on your table money is not going to magically appear in your bank friends are not going to magically appear and love you to death intimate partners are not going to magically appear and somehow forever cherish you without any effort on your part so um this is why we're here for we're here to have this adventure we're here to experience it we're here to give of ourselves we're here to figure it out um and ultimately we're here to enjoy it we're really here to enjoy life but we can't enjoy life if we're selfish if we're not taking up the challenges that are coming our way, if we're not willing to extend ourselves to others, if we're not willing to fight for what we want, if we're not willing to work hard for what we want. So I'll leave you with these last thoughts and I hope you have yourself an adventurous day. Strap your boots on. <laughs> if you need me, you can always reach me at ValentinaPetrovaConsulting.com. Looking forward to seeing you and please leave me a comment and share this video with people that might want to hear it. Take care. Bye.